religion is never opposed to economics, but it is always ranged against profits. Gandhi, Ashram Observances in Action. Yeah, it took E.F. Schumacher, to, who the author of Small is Beautiful, to really study Gandhi and interpret him to the modern world. And I remember talking with Fritz one time, and he said something that he's also said in public, that it was a big aha for him when he realized that Gandhi was an economist. Because he was not a mathematical economist, he was not a theoretician in that sense, but he had a deeply grounded feeling in the economic dimension of human welfare. He knew that he could accomplish a great deal by eradicating poverty. It was not just the material dimension, but dignity, a sense of empowerment, a sense of one's true humanity was all tied up with one's economic capacities. So Gandhi was, uh, I think, unique in this regard, and he, he benefited very, very much from the clarity of that vision and from his ability to live it out by being on the material level and amazingly simple in his own life and habits. Thank you.